Hi, good morning. This is Chad Rothrock here with Total Value RV in Elkhart, Indiana. We're going to bring you a 2020 walk around on a brand new factory fresh 44B Aspire motorhome built by Integra Coach. This is Jayco's top of the line motorhome and uh, motorhome line and we're going to start here uh, at the front. I want to talk about a few of the things that have, that have been changed um, on this coach for the 2020s and um, number one you've got dual integrated roof line awnings now which are your Girard Vision awnings. Those are two stage awnings and now you've got a standard dual awning setup. So it used to be there was an option for a second one. Another one of the standard features now is a slide tray down the basement which we'll cover and I'll hit on some of these other features as we cover the coach but starting up front I want to talk about some of the exclusives that you're going to get with an Integra coach. Number one they build specifically only on a Spartan chassis, so they're the only manufacturer that only builds on Spartan chassis exclusively. This particular chassis is the K2 Spartan chassis, which is going to have a 49,000 pound uh, chassis setup. So this setup here is going to be an 8.9 liter ISL turbo diesel Cummins engine. It's 450 horsepower and it's got 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. It's also got a 10,000 watt Onan generator, which is a diesel gen, centered up front for stability on a pull-out slide tray here. While we're talking about the front, these sea lights have improved lighting for 2020. Also, your Integra badging, which is this nice and chrome underneath when we fill this cover off, this integrated lighting um, illuminates brighter now uh, with the 2020 models. So improved sea lighting as well as badge lighting. One thing that we have to talk about on an Integra coach is the fact that you have a 120 inch window. It's the best visibility in the industry because it's the biggest windshield in the business on a Class A motorhome. So you can also tell when we get inside this cab forward design is what allows for that, that awesome visibility. The placement of your mirrors being positioned out in front of the vehicle as opposed to out on the side makes for uh, better and easier comfort for the driver better visibility. Here again you have a 2020 change which is a chrome handles entering into the coach. Notice some of the small features we don't always talk about but I want to point out for one wind. This coach boasts the quietest riding best handling coach on the market period um, and the little things that we're going to talk about in this video are some examples as to why. So number one you've got this here which is going to prevent wind from hitting that door. Okay. You also have air pocket door locks at that door which is going to keep it tight and secure and, um, and prevent from uh, any rattling or wind to come in there as well. When these slides close up, this is the only coach that has recess slides. So 50 mile an hour crosswinds with water, you're not going to get water pushed into the slide out here. So again, when that slide comes in, it's nice and flush and there's no fascia trim piece covering that uh, void. Keyless entry right here at the entryway of this coach which will unlock and lock your front door here as well as your baggage doors. You have uh, one of the improvements we're going to talk about on the 2020s is the repositioning of the fuel fill. It's now positioned so that it uh, drains down into the top or fills from the top of the uh, the tank itself and that's going to give you improved airflow and just better uh, quicker filling um, and more importantly no backflow you know in a, you know, a mess when, uh, when you get topped off. Really bright LED docking lights. We're going to notice here on the side, um, as well as you know, improved marker lights in the vehicle on this 2020. Lit entry awning, as well as a really bright spotlight up front here. Uh, there's multi multiple places that we can control that lighting from, and uh, one of them is a handheld app, which we'll talk a little bit more about. We've got a new 10-inch Vega Touch display inside that we're going to cover. Window awnings is a nice feature on this coach. You're going to see we use Gerard window awnings and of course frameless windows all the way around. This is the poppy exterior paint. So this full body paint color is called the poppy. If we pan out a little bit, you get a good chance to see the beautiful paint job that's done at Precision right here in Elkhart. This has three times clear coat. Okay, so it's literally the best paint job in the business and it's extremely smooth. In the exterior of this coach, you have a Samsung television with a JBL soundbar. This will come out, reposition depending on what the sun's doing for you or where you're sitting. Just going to point out some of the baggage doors as we make our way around.
So down here, this is for your awnings. You actually have a remote control uh, for the awnings, which will which will come as a handy feature. Um, one of the things that they've done a little differently, I'm just going to show you on their upfit or their superstructure is something they've been doing for a long time, but it's X bracing. And a little tough to see, but these X's throughout the coach, there's over 10 X's in every single floor plan. And that creates you know, up to 50 strengthening triangles um, with this superstructure. And what that does is helps for an improved ride, um, improved stability. When we talk about the foundation and the strength, um, that has the absolute most integrity there. This is now a standard feature. You no longer have to option this in. That's a, a slide tray which will extend to either ends. This is your awning rod here for your window awnings. I want to show Jeff, I should turn the lights down here, but this is all lighting now. Okay, you have an air chuck down here. It's all lighting. You have outlets here to plug in extension cords. Another outlet down there should you ever want to go with a, a, a deep freezer or fridge. Easy access to your slide motor should, heaven forbid, we have to change a slide motor. It's right there, very easy to access. And while we're down here, we can point out we have LED lighting that lights up the uh, underside of these slide outs. So the ground effects lighting really helps, uh, you know, for visibility at the campground. And just a really neat look all together. As you see, this is another mega pass through. Uh, some folks will option to put a second slide down, uh, slide tray down low, which can be done. Of course, we give you extra planks of tile down here. This is going to have a floor vac system, so we'll talk a little bit more about that, but you'll have a box with all of your attachments for that. And then, of course, we have two additional folding chairs uh, for the setup inside. I'm just going to point out a couple, a couple features while we're standing right here, Jeff. Uh, Integra Coach, one of the exclusive features we talk about with an Integra Coach, aside from an unparalleled two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, two-year 24,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, is going to be the fact that they only build coaches with four slide-outs. No full wall slides, and that's, again, um, to create the strongest uh, systems out there. These Reliatorque slide-outs our rack and pinion system, ball bearing system that's been used for over 25 years um, with total confidence by this manufacturer. And uh, you know, it stems from a cogwheel design um, it, and these high torque, low voltage uh, motors which help power the system. Now it's a little bit slower than some of our hydraulic systems, but again, the most reliable system that we ha have to offer. Down here you're going to have uh, independent kill switches for um, I'll just show you. You're in 3,000 watt pure sign magnum energy inverter. This is your kill switch, your leveling system, your house power, your batteries, uh, battery link, and of course your generator and fender compartment. You can disengage power here, and what that does is, is it prevents any additional power to be drawn from the batteries, even if we just shut off the house power inside. Over here, we didn't get a chance to show you, but you have a port down here for your dirt devil to help keep your basement clean and yet again another outlet down here you get a chance to see this is a heated basement okay so this is an aqua hot system which we make our way to the other side but if you look down around the corner there Jeff you can show them there's actually a, a register down low so it's a thermostatically thermostatically heated basement Here you're going to have a 100 gallon fresh water tank. You actually have a 42 gallon gray tank. I'm sorry, 62 gallon gray tank and a 41 gallon black tank with this motorhome. Um, you have gravity fill right at the top there. And then you have a, a sight line down here. Again, improved marker lights and uh, rear docking lights. These are the 315 series. Michelin tires, uh, 31580 series Michelin tires up front um, with the 22.5 uh, polished aluminum wheels. And then as we move to the back, you've got the 295 series ADRs with the same 295 series deep dish aluminum wheels. Each one of these wheels, this one here is going to have uh, valve stem extenders built in. As we move our way back, I want to talk and touch upon another exclusive feature that you get with Integra Coach. That is a remote 
Let's just go ahead and show this real quick. A remote access door, okay, just for the 15 gallon def tank here. A lot of, uh, a lot of manufacturers use a 13 gallon def tank to get the extra two gallons there. And of course, access to your chassis batteries, some additional kill switches for those. And then of course you have your power engine um, gate lift here, uh, engine accessibility and power lift. So again, another exclusive feature that we're able to offer on an Integra coach. Jeff, if you want to come around around here, I want to talk about a couple different things. So your air dryer, okay, which is accessible right here, should be should be changed out uh, every two years. And of course, um, your filters, which are easily accessible now and real easy to get to for the guys that like to maintain their coach on their own. Um, you have behind this cover here. This watertight cover, you're going to have additional fuses for this chassis. This is a vent for your dryer. Inside, so we do have a stackable washer and dryer. Um, making our way around to the rear of this coach, you're going to have a 10,000 pound hitch. And what's nice is you actually have a tow brake uh, air chuck already installed here. Um, and you know a lot of folks are going to want to upfit their, uh, their tow vehicles with that air braking system. This just saves the cost a little bit and makes it a little easier to do that. If you look back in this area here, everything is very easily accessible. Um, you have your white noise or your whooshing sound as you drop this vehicle down into, part, into reverse. Um, it'll make a, a sound which, um, rather than a loud beeping, uh, is more of a, what we call a white noise or a whoosh, whoosh type sound. Um, backing up at night in the campgrounds, you're able to appreciate that. But again, very easy, uh, very easy to access anything for uh, for the folks that like to do some of the maintenance on their own. Engine oil fill here, coolant here, um, hydraulic oil up top, engine oil check, um, your trans fluid fill here. Of course, your air filter indicator down low here. Um, this coach is going to come equipped with an engine block heater, as well as you will have a uh, an outside receptacle here which again is um, covered to protect from water. We'll drop this down in just a minute. I'm going to continue walking these folks around the backside and talk about some of the, uh, the nicer features we have going on here. So up top, all of those lights that you'll see there is all LED lights and of course you have a backup camera which when we get inside we'll talk a little bit more about that camera system. Up top you have the chrome badging beneath the cover there and Integra will light up in brilliant uh, bright red coloring. It's, it's, it's pretty at nighttime, but it's bright enough to where you can even make it out in the daytime. We're going to talk upon another exclusive feature that you get when you buy an Integra coach. This is vertically louvered radiator cover, um, which is just going to allow for better air, or better air flow and increased uh, performance. This is a remote fill. Uh, for your def, so you actually have a gravity fill here for the def tank. All right, and that's a remote access door on this side of the coach, driver's side. Again, we didn't really show you up on the other side, but you have valve stem covers built in so that you can access the inner wheels on your 20,000 pound Meritor axle. Okay, that's the, uh, the, the axle rating is 20,000 pounds, and that's what you're going to get on the K2 uh, Spartan chassis. We're going to talk again uh, on an exclusive. This is a turbo macerator, so a SantaCon turbo macerator. And one of the things that, that you know, we'll just we'll talk about this. You don't have to worry about where you're going to store your sewer hose with this type of system. That is your sewer hose. The nice thing about it is it's permanently connected to your tank to where the macerator system it basically um, emulsifies all of the waste and allows for everything to flow easier. Um, and more importantly, we can actually pump uphill if we had to, um, over 11 feet uphill and up to 150 feet out. One of the things that you'll see when you look at this system right here is this is going to be this is going to be what you have here. Now this would unscrew and that just drops down um, into the the dump. But you can actually hook a garden hose up if you wanted to to the outside of this here and pump that and let's just say you're that far away from uh, from a dump 
you can actually pump the waste out like I had mentioned over 150 feet. This protective sleeve is something that was engineered and again is another exclusive with Integra Coach but this sleeve system here it prevents that inner uh, that inner hose from ever being extended too far. There we go. So if what happens is if you're pulling on that that hose um, you know in the past we've seen where it can actually tear well that sleeve has been constructed to where once the sleeve is completely stretched out the hose still has some play in there um, and that was designed specifically to prevent that from ever becoming an issue and really making that a ha the, the best most hassle-free setup as far as dumping the waste the neat thing about that system is there's a manual override as well between these this access panel here you will have a manual dump access I want to talk a little bit about your whole house water filtration system and outside shower setup it's really clean you also have um, soap dispenser that you can pop up here and you also have a place for your uh, paper towels macerator switch out here okay you have a light in the in the wet bay of course a, a hose reel for your fresh water and of course you will have your fresh water inlet you will have your black tank flush depending on whether you're going to do hookup city fill or fill freshwater tank um, an easy valve there for 2020s the fresh the fresh dump valve went from a 3 8 line to a 3 quarter line just for quicker more efficient dumping of the water here we have the 400d aqua hot system and a 2020 change a new 2020 change is going to be the digital readout screen down low in the basement um, which is also going to be functional from your handheld app and your Vega touch your 10 inch Vega touch screen inside okay but that's the first time we've ever done that and you're able to check the tools and use the diagnostic tools and features um, right here in the basement okay and then of course out here you have a shore power cord an auto transfer switch and we actually have a smart transfer switch now for 2020 which is going to tell the coach when uh, shore power has been reinstated and it'll kill the generator so we're not running generator and absorbing shore power at the same time this is going to be another look at the other side of your basement again as I had mentioned that box there uh, the maximizer box is going to is going to house all of your um, your whole house vacuum uh, system so it's got a 25 foot long hose that will reach and extend uh, you know from the center of the coach all the way to the rear all the way to the front the Dirt Devil uh, vacuum bag is going to be down low. Quick and easy to change out. One more time. An 800 pound capacity on this slide tray. We didn't talk about capacities, but it's an 800 pound capacity. And it's again accessible from either end. And you notice if this slide were all the way in, you can get all the way in there with deeper, heavier items. <clears throat> and that makes it nice makes it nice to be able to access those not throw your back out in the process another quarter bay just like you have on the opposite side okay and behind behind that panel up there uh, there's, there's a panel in the centers where we keep our four um, house batteries now we have the AGM batteries which are um, a non um, Sorry, uh, a maintenance-free battery is what we refer to them as, um, but you don't have to top them off. And of course, uh, like a lead-acid battery. These batteries are again going to be centered up front. And then, of course, you have your front chassis, um, front chassis fuses. You'll have your generator slide-out release right here, and you can see it's just a really clean compartment. Very easy to access anything. Schematics on the back of. Your fuse box covers all right now we're going to make our way into the front and i guess before we do that let's just take one quick look and point out a couple obvious features but something that the first time integra buyer may want to talk about now we have a very streamlined or aerodynamic approach in the front there and you can see the channels on either side of this vehicle which is going to help create a little bit more of that um that aerodynamic setup Okay, let's make our way inside. 
We've already got the lights on in here. We're just going to make our way right on up. Right as you walk into the coach, you're going to have uh, the ability to turn all of the lights on and off right here at the master switch. We can turn all of the cargo lighting on. So, Jeff, why don't we, now that we've hit that cargo light, let's go under the slide out light and let's turn that porch light on. I'm also going to turn the Okay, we got the lights on. See what a difference? Now, it's nice to be able to see it dark in the beginning of the video and then come back and see what a difference that lighting's going to do. And of course, during the daytime, it doesn't do nearly as much justice as it will at night for you. But the positioning of those lights are such that you can load those bays up and you still have, um, you know, the light coming through with visibility there from that light. Great spot for dog leashes, um, you name it. Just just a very handy little drawer down low. Entry lighting right when we walk in. I didn't talk about it. This coach is going to be upfitted with a, a diamond shield. Now, the diamond shield is the best protective uh, cover in the business or clear bra. And I say that because they're the only ones that guarantee a lifetime warranty. So, essentially, 10 years from now, you can be sitting at the campground. Call that 1-800 number and diamond shield will actually come out to the campsite and uh, do the repair for you. Usually takes a day or two, they're really quick. Um, back behind this handle, we've actually upfit the, the clear as well. So that clear bra, any place where you're gonna kick. So the entryway here is protected. This here is protected. And then of course it wraps all the way around from here down across the front of the coach. Now we'll make our way in. And immediately see, you don't have a tremendous amount of space that's been wasted right here at the front of the cockpit. This is what we refer to as our cab forward design. So that cab forward design, basically, once we swivel these chairs, affords you almost the entire length of that coach that you just purchased, rather than giving up a good four or five feet of space. Come on in, Jeff. We're going to go ahead and point out some of the notable features here. We've gone to Flex Steel. Uh, 2020, we have Flex Steel seats in here, which really... Um, if you feel these or had a chance to sit in these, this is about the softest seat you're going to find um, in a motorhome under half a million dollars, uh, hands down. And as we start to move our way around the, the, the cockpit here, I want to talk about some of, the, some of the features that are going to separate this coach. So it's going to have an 18-inch VIP smart wheel. And for the folks at home that don't know what a smart wheel is, it just gives you the ability to operate some of the more commonly used features right there at your fingertips. So you'll have lighting you'll have cruise control, and you'll have your windshield wipers right there at your fingertips. Um, the telescopic steering wheel also has a tilt feature, so it'll tilt up and down and telescope in and out. We're the only manufacturer that does a pet safe kill switch. So we have a, a battery kill switch down low, and of course has a sliding cover in case uh, you do have your um, furry, uh, furry four-legged friend that likes to lap ride with you. But you're gonna have a battery boost, which is, um, I'm going to uh, pull power from one, one battery system and uh, should you ever have dead chassis batteries, it'll actually pull that power from the other battery system and give you the ability to um, hopefully start that coach or at least your generator off. You have a slide, uh, pedal, uh, pedal slide and retract system so we can extend and retract our pedals which are suspended right down low. Okay, And as we move those I'll push the buttons Jeff so that we can see the way these So if you... By pushing the, the button one time, now this obviously is a, is a keyless push start system, but by pushing it one time it puts us into accessory mode and we're then able to go ahead and operate some of the features that you would need um, the engine running to do. Air horn, so you have an air horn, you have a regular horn, you have the tag dump, so you actually have an auto uh, dump system with this coach. It's nice if you're doing tight turning, uh, tight cornering or reversing this coach, backing down off of the hill. Um, and then you also have a quick docking light switch here. And as I turn these, these lights on, immediately those really bright big lights that we've shown you on the outside um, turn on. So even in the daytime, you know, they do, do their job. Each one of these buttons here is going to be for our shades. So we have a day shade and a night shade. And I can control the two front shades here. Over here, on our Spire product, these are going to be a manual shade. So, 
I personally like the manual shade. They're real quick, real easy to use. You pull them past the point of an inch, they stay fixed. You give them a quick tug and they'll retract. Moving forward, uh, you actually have quick and easy um, menu selector and uh, toggle switch for left and right just to make everything up here on your dash readout um, easy to get to and access. When we turn our headlights or marker lights on, immediately you're going to see some really neat things happen. Our gauges illuminate, our cup holders illuminate, and you get a really nice red light feature here. You're going to see the, the stone wall gray, which is a, our new high gloss wood. It's our newest wood. We only produce about eight of these uh, every month, or eight motorhomes all together. So from um, the entry level product line all the way up to our top, uh, top tier, which is our cornerstone. So I'll turn those off. One thing that I'll have to show everybody at home likes to see this. You got our check valves. And we have 71.6 miles on the trip. 101, so about 100 miles on this coach. Which means you get to be the, you know, the, the take this coach on the maiden voyage, you get to put the initial critical mileage on this motor. And a lot of folks love that. Talking about the screen up front here, really quick, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. This navigation is something that we, uh, we like to talk about because it is an RV specific uh, style setup. So, when we go into our main home screen here, you can filter through your cameras. We've got the RV Whisperer behind us here. We have a Rand McNally navigation system. Now when the coach again is in drive mode, that's when our navigation system is going to kick on. So we can again go into an accessory mode. Navigation then will pop up. Okay, so if you are just camped and you want to start to pre-map pre your, uh, your travels, you can hit the accessory button or you can just obviously use that feature going down the road. That second click is going to take you where your chassis is now alive. And then we can turn it all back off. So there's a couple different settings there. We have a premium five speaker uh, JBL sound system going on. And we'll actually have a subwoofer, which we'll show you is hidden down low here with that sound system. But you want to talk about the best, the best sound system. They actually have engineers, sound engineers, when we're building our motorhomes, we'll come out with their equipment and actually test the sound at the cab. I don't know of another manufacturer um, that does that. I could be wrong, but um, I just thought that was really neat when I heard about that the last time I took a factory tour. Um, don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Like I said, there's a lot of things that I want to cover. This is going to be more of a lengthy video. I apologize ahead of time uh, for the folks at home that may not um, need all the extra detail. But for the folks that do, you may appreciate some of these features I'm going to uh, rattle off here. Number one, with this coach, an Integra coach is the only triple insulated coach in the market. That means they protect against all three forms of heat transfer. Conduction, convection, radiation, and the astrofoil uh, that's used uh, to the fiberglass spun insulation and the wood and the sidewalls flooring um, just all act as um, different forms of insulators. With that being said, Integra actually insulates the rear of the coach as well as this entire front cab area up to the window. I don't know of another manufacturer out there that does that because again there, there is none. This is the only manufacturer that does that. It's one of our exclusive features. And with that being said, I'm going to cover a few of the other exclusive features while I'm on this topic. Number one, this manufacturer is using uh, triple screws uh, in their flooring. So what I mean by they're screwing in, not around not only around the perimeter, but also screwing down the center of these planks of plywood. And what that does is reduces flex um, and it improves the, um, well, reduces the risk for squeaks and those types of things, but improves the life of this floor. This floor, another exclusive, is four and a half inches thick, and when you add the porcelain tile, we're talking a five inch thick floor. It's part of the reason why you have such a quiet ride. When you go down the road in this coach, if for anybody at home that's never driven one, uh, do yourself the favor, get out to a dealer, whatever you have to do, come up to Elkhart, Indiana, we'd prefer, and come drive a, a, a brand new motorhome and see, see what we're talking about with that quietest riding, best handling coach on the market. These little things that I continue to rattle off from the X bracing and the, the, the superstructure up to the thickest floor, 
Also the thickest, uh, best insulation hands down in the business with R33 in our roof. Um, R24 on our sidewalls um, is just going to be another testament to the quality and construction that you're getting here. Um, our new 8 by, 8, 8 by 48 polished porcelain tile is just a nice look that people are really starting to gravitate towards. Um, we're modernizing the interiors and a lot of folks love that. But what you see here is, is a great testament to that. This is a beautiful wood, guys. This is what you'd get when you walk into a nice high-end home nowadays. Um, that polished porcelain tile look, and so that's what we're trying to bring folks at home. This in, this uh, setup here is the L-shaped sofa. This is going to have ottomans uh, as well. Now these ottomans, when we flip these upside down here, actually become. This is a firm uh, firm top here, so a great place to set food, drinks, things like that. You also have cubby space down in there, of course. This is going to pull out um, with a two-person sleeper, so it's going to have a queen-style bed that will pop out here. And it's positioned conveniently across from your Samsung 1080p um, high-definition smart television. So you also have a pair of the Samsung soundbar. One of the features that was removed for the 2020s was the desk slide-out desk drawer. Um, easy to upfit for anybody that just has to have a desk station because this will operate as a nice desk area as well but one of the things that we've done again for 2020 is we've re relocated our matri uh, matrix box um, up here it would used to be down in the basement but it's up here for easier visibility as we're um, operating that system uh, we now have a standard wine guard traveler HD slimline uh, setup up top okay uh, satellite system there is an option, a no charge option, for an in-motion satellite should you prefer to have an in-motion setup. 40 inch Furion uh, uh, residential style electric fireplace. Now this is actually going to put off over 5,000 BTUs of heat. It will definitely take the initial chill off of this, uh, this floor here. But another feature that does that already, and again an exclusive feature with Integra Coach, is going to be our in-floor aqua hot heating. Okay. We, we briefly covered the Aqua Hot setup down low, um, but the uh, people at home that don't know the great advantages, Aqua Hot uh, doesn't suck all the moisture out of the air, okay, so to speak. There, it's going to be a lot more like a boiler system in, in some of these uh, older homes out here. And of course, with that being said, you have evenly distributed heat, you have so better airflow with even heat, and you don't have a, a, a great change from floor to ceiling uh, temperatures. So it's sometimes 15 to 20 degrees difference from floor to ceiling in some of these motorhomes. Um, you don't have that. It's a nice even heat exchange. With that being said, we've now looped. So there's there's runs in this coach of um, of that aqua hot system. When we when we turn that system on, it actually preheats uh, you know your engine, the coach, and um, those are great features because nobody likes to step off their bed onto a cold tile floor. And with this coach, you don't have to worry about that. But um, making our way throughout this coach, you can just see how the lights play off of that, that new stonewall gray cabinetry. I'm going to open up some of these, these cabinets. Folks at home like to see just how deep those are. Pretty surprising. I mean, you can put, those are over a foot uh, deep, but you can put big plates, you can put chargers, you can put, uh, you know, charger style plates. You can tuck a lot of stuff back in there. And of course, you have the, the top of the line hinges and struts on either end. functional. This B floor plan has historically been one of our best selling floor plans for obvious reasons and it's one that we run all the way up the product line to our cornerstone. Uh, but you're going to see here um, your residential style countertops, um, dual bowl sink here with the residential style faucet and pull out sprayer, single lever action going on there. And of course you, they've given you rather than just a split 50-50 style sink, um, they've given you a bigger sink making it easier to wash pots and pans. We have an induction style cooktop here, uh, really a nice feature for folks that don't like utilizing um, all of their propane while they're at their stay. This of course being an all electric coach, um, you don't have propane, but you know it is, um, it is an electric source of heat. So you will need extra cookware for this, but uh, most folks at home uh, that have something like this uh, love it. You can boil water quicker, um, you, once you 
you know, once you are boiling soup, potatoes, things like that, you can actually uh, layer, you know, a couple paper towels underneath that pot for any overflow, make it a lot easier to, to clean. This is a 30 inch over the range convection microwave oven. It's a Whirlpool oven, microwave oven, okay? Down low, you actually have a Fisher Paykel dishwasher, and that's hidden with a, with a cabinet front that looks a lot like uh, everything else in the coach, so just kind of keeps that clean aesthetics. Down low, you have a sectionalized pull-out drawer, and of course you can, you can see we've got dedicated storage for the sink top covers. Um, neat little locking feature with this. If we were to knock three times, it locks and unlocks this, uh, this dishwasher door. Neat pull-out racks up top, making it easier to store items up there and keeping them safe up top. But you see what they've done, they've given you that shelf or that two-tiered system to kind of double your space in there. Uh, this is a new feature for 2020 with this product here. It's a floor-to-ceiling hutch that's been designed elegantly and it has the depth to where you can, you can still put um, you know some of your smaller dishes and things like that but more of a decorative piece now with adjustable shelving you have a 20 cubic foot residential whirlpool refrigerator with this coach it has a locking system on it and it has uh, an ice maker with water um, so there's a filtration system here of course you have a whole house water filtration system down low you can always run inline filters coming into the coach to provide clean safe drinking water um, Egress windows, just want to point this out while we're in this area, very easy to get to. And also, you can tell we have this new 8-inch LED recessed light. So we've done away, again in 2020, with uh, the decorative piece here, which made it a little tougher to get into this spot here. And also just, in general, took up a good amount of space here. So, you can see we've cleaned that up a little bit. Air pocket door locks, um, something that you don't see right now, but when we release the air brake on this coach, uh, there's a pin that drops down at all pocket doors as well as your entry door, and what that's going to prevent is those cab or those uh, pocket doors from I'll show you rattling whatsoever or moving. So this here, you know, still has a little bit of play like this right now. Well, our air brake's engaged. When we disengage our air brake, you'll hear almost sounds like a, a deadbolt locking. Well, what that is is that's those pins popping up and it's preventing this from rattling. Okay. Floor vac system, like I had mentioned before, going to be a couple different uh, features to talk about. Number one is we have the place here for your extension to click in, and then we also have the toe kick sweep setup down low. All right, with this beautiful porcelain tile floor, this just makes it um, a lot easier to keep clean. True solid wood doors here with a full length mirror in the back side. We have the new 10 inch display in our. Um, Aspires now in 2020, so this is going to be a, a simplized version um, uh, of the Vega Touch, which is just basically going to be uh, what I mean by simplized is it's user friendly. Um, this is also <clears throat> duplicated on a mobile app, so you can uh, carry your iPad or your smartphone outside with you. You have a master light switch. You have an exterior master light switch, which is a new feature with this. You have entry, living, and midship lighting, so you have sectionalized lighting. We have a new redesigned overhead uh, lighting plenum here, or lighting uh, ceiling design. It's not a plenum, so there's no airflow coming from back here. As you can see, we have dual ducts that we run on the sides here. But with that being said, we've got sectionalized lighting where we can just very easily turn that off and on. See midship, your living room, entry, and then any of these here with an arrow, an up or down arrow indicator, is just going to uh, be an indicator that we have uh, dimmable lighting. As you can tell, we're demonstrating that overhead right now. There's multiple stages. It's nice because the stages will allow you to kind of, you know, give you the time to set that stage. Very nice. So you have a uh, entry door, lock and unlock. You can turn your aqua hot on quickly here. Your auto gen start, auto gen start feature. And for the folks at home that don't know exactly what the auto gen start is, it allows you to to control this uh, generator uh, based on time, temperature, and voltage. So we can set a predetermined setting for our voltage, our temperature, or time, including a quiet time at campgrounds, which will allow for this generator to then kick on. 
Um, if you're plugged into shore power, obviously, uh, no need for that. But this is for folks that are getting off grid um, and doing what we call dry camping. That's your home screen. Then as we make our way into the electrical screen, uh, you get a chance to see exactly what's drawing from what legs or line one, line two. Um, you have the ability to determine where, obviously, where your house and chassis batteries are. You can turn your inverter on and off, um, so your inverter and charging system here. Right now we're not plugged in, so we're not charging. The inverter is disabled, so certain features aren't going to work like your um, Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Uh, but also, you have your own lighting panel. So this system here, it might look like a ton of lights, but it is by far the most elegantly set up uh, system I've ever seen. It's very easy to get to the exterior, main, rear. It breaks everything down and of course individualizes each light um, or as I showed you on the previous home screen you can just quickly turn off each zone. Here you get into your your climate system which I haven't talked about them but you have three 15,000 BTU AC systems with heat pumps built into them. So each one of those ACs is going to have a heat pump, and in our bay, we have the aqua hot ducted uh, vent. So of course we can actually, whether it's running off electric or the, the diesel burner system, uh, we can go ahead and we can heat that basement. You also have the heated floor setting right here, and we've talked about that with the aqua hot system. Um, again, the best insulated floor in the business, um, R33 there. Um, again, R24 in the roof and R16 in our sidewalls, which is going to make um, for uh, the best cold and hot weather performance of any motorhome today. Um, and, and that's, um, let's see, and that's going to be, of course, with any regularly built motorhome. Um, if somebody wanted to get super crazy, they may, they may beat those, but for a, uh, from a construction standpoint, no other manufacturer insulates to the level of Integra. In fact, their rear caps actually triple insulated. Um, so a lot of manufacturers just not even insulate in there. This is a triple insulated rear. Next, your slides, your awnings. It makes it very simple. Here's all your slides. Extend and retract. Here's all your awnings. You have your rear awning, your front awning, and your door awning. It doesn't get any simpler than that. I like that they're even uh, color coded to make it easier to distinguish what's what. You have a cleaning mode to where you can clean the screen. Your mobile app, should you get to that point um, where you want to control from uh, remotely, um, you would just click on this and go through the basic instructions to set it up. Here you can dim and brighten up your screen. Network diagnostics, aqua hot diagnostics, and um, for the folks at home that, that wonder about user guides, is there user guides for this? Well, the nice thing about Integra Coach, again, another exclusive, um, which, by the way, there's over 33 different, just that we've noted, over 33 different brand exclusives that Integra Coach offers that nobody else does. We're going to cover on just about every single one of those today, but one that I want to talk about still is, um, uh, is that, that you have a user guide that will come with this coach that basically breaks almost everything down for a customer. There's no other manufacturer that does that. Most of the time you're getting a generic guide, um, and it can be frustrating for someone who likes to solve things on their own solve some of the problems that may arise, or just has questions pertaining to specific uh, items. So I just had to touch on that. The other thing I didn't talk about yet, but I will, since we're right here, is these dividing walls. All of these dividing walls in an Integra coach are recessed down into the flooring. And there's not another, another manufacturer out there that does that. Most manufacturers, what they're going to do is they're going to build this hutch and these dividing walls on top of pre-laid tile. So it's a lot easier to do that. A lot less time consuming, there's no cutting involved. Let, a lot less cutting involved with the tile, but actually every one of these pieces of tile is cut to fit. So once we've recessed these walls down in, and what that does is it makes for a tighter ride, less squeaks, less vulnerability over time, okay? But uh, definitely wanted to talk about that because that's, that's important stuff. As you look here, we've got a foot flush now with the mid-bath, a porcelain commode. We've got the beautiful, beautiful decorated ball board, you know, um, almost halfway up. Stonewall, you get a chance to see in here. When the lights play off of that, it's a, it's really, it helps brighten up the coach, believe it or not. So the high gloss has a 90 sheen, which helps as well. I'll just, I'm going to open these up for the folks at home, Jeffrey. I'm going to show that we do have a functional medicine cabinet here.
also have a G6A control panel. The G6A control panel is going to be um, a very friendly system. Anything that's illuminated here is basically letting you know it's on and working. So if you're trying to troubleshoot or find out if something is communicating, this is basically going to let you know if that's the case. If it's illuminated, it's on, it's working. So if you've gone to your panel there, you turn something on, it should be lit up here. I know the RV Whisperer likes to point out and count every door and drawer, so I'm not going to I'm not going to mess that up. I want you to be able to see that we've got some functionality going with the top drawer. And then, good length to these drawers here. Nice functional full length drawer here. Place for trash. As you flip this down, drop the trash right down. It literally slides right into your waste basket. Good place for sponges. Um, as we make our way in here, a coach this size, of course, comes with a residential style pantry. You have adjustable shelving here for cereal boxes um, and taller items. This coach is going to have a piano hinge on the back side here, which to the naked eye, you'd never know this pops open. There's a safe back here. We use the first alert safe, and of course, uh, you have a Blu ray player in the rear here, as well as your Blu-ray player up front. So with that matrix box, you can determine, you know, if you want to watch a DVD outside in the bedroom up front, or, or if you wanted to watch, you know, um, your satellite television channels, um, that selector box makes that easy to do. Nice overhead space here. And I'll just use all these doors to pull out here. So of course, actually, let's find out. Yep. On either end, you've got some cubby space, and of course, we have um, a gel memory foam mattress. Some extra storage down low here, and that's actual storage on either end. Um, if you like, if you like to keep those two folding chairs with you uh, to accommodate extra dinner guests, you can. Um, this usually is a good spot for them, should, that we can free up a lot of that extra space in the basement. Come on in this way, Jeffrey, the cameraman. We're going to show them. This is a very heavy door, solid hardwood door. Um, it's beautiful. It's, it doesn't have a decorative inlay in here anymore. It's just solid hardwood. And the advantage to that, again, um, just quality. You know, uh, again, the air pocket locks will lock that thing in place. When we go down the road, this is nice and fixed, not going anywhere. Same with this pocket door here. And it's hard to see yet. You can't see the plunger that pops up. But either way, coming on in here, I want to point out got beautiful tile in here now. And so then you'll have a, uh, an easy step to get on into the fiberglass pan there. But you have a beautiful tile laid shower um, skylight here. So about another foot and a half above, above my height. I'm 5'10", so it gives you an idea at home. Um, tall gentlemen, women can get in there no problem. Notice with our, our rain style shower now, so we have a different head here. We've got the detached one here. And of course, um, better showering experience because of it. But you'll have a, a Tecma smart flush toilet in the rear. So smaller flush, larger flush here. Didn't forget the the paper holder and of course um, washer and dryer. That's on a really neat slide out there. So we're sliding uh, front and of course automated lighting in your full length closet. Jeff I'm going to get out of the way here so that they can see the amount of space that we've got. So a great rear wardrobe. Notice we do the, uh, the bathroom cabinetry in a different color and um, you know, the reason we do that is in a motorhome this big, you have sectionalized living. Usually when you walk into a home at a residence, um, it's usually not the exact same in the bathroom as it is the rest of the house. We've kind of done that uh, more of a residential flow. So we do the white cabinetry in the rear. Functional medicine cabinet. Jeff, you want to come around and show them? That's all Ozite lined as well. 
the wall board that they use. Um, I'm not an interior designer, but if I were, that's exactly what I'd use. It's perfect. So everything blends really nicely. So this, um, again, this uh, this is called the cobblestone interior. I haven't mentioned that yet, but it's paired with the stonewall gray high gloss. And uh, this is actually our best-selling uh, interior right now in our lot. So hopefully you folks at home like that. Okay, getting out of the way of the cameraman here. I'm going to... I want to just see if I've forgotten anything. I think I want to talk really quick. I did forget something up front here. We have a high profile. Again, one of those exclusives I promised I'd tell you about. This is a high profile Jake brake switch. Okay? So that Jacob's compression brake is going to help slow this vehicle down uh, during steep grades and things like that. Well, um, having that high profile switch in an emergency is clutch. Should you ever need to hit that and you don't want to take your eyes off the road, that's exactly what that's for. When we swivel both of these chairs around, these chairs become part of the living space. And we say that because not only are they going to be the most comfortable spots in the house, um, but you have built-in recliners on both the passenger and the driver's seat. Um, once you swivel around, here is cup holders. Basically, you have cup holders for this person here. This person's got one there. The driver's got a cup holder back here or even up here. Um, so it's just a very functional setup. We've Change these for 2000, uh, 2020. We've got new map lights in here, which are just a little bit more user friendly. All LED, of course. The folks at home want to know the breakers, where the breakers are. You've got them right up top. Now, Chase Manufacturing. Chase Manufacturing does all of our wood, and uh, Chase Manufacturing is down um, in Napanee. And they do a fantastic job. I actually had the pleasure of doing a plant tour there and uh, got a chance to see um, just the level of craftsmanship that it takes to, to get this wood the way that it is. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good process. Just in case for the folks at home that are wondering, well, what if that screen ever were to fail and my slides are out, my air conditioners, are, it's hot and I want to turn the ACs on, you have overrides. So this coach is going to have a dedicated override for each one of your air conditioners as well as your slide out systems. Okay, You have a WineGuard uh, digital antenna here which is uh, powered by the King system and then of course you have your generator um, remote start switch here. So we've got multiple places we can fire the generator. From the generator itself, we can fire the generator from the cockpit, we can fire the generator from the passenger overhead. Uh, we can fire the generator from our mobile application, the 10 inch display, so um, just really neat. Ah, Morningstar, so this coach is equipped with two solar panels. Um, some, of the, some of the optional equipment that this has on it is going to be the fireplace uh, option over here with the, um, the setup that you see, as well as the two solar panels was an option on this coach. Uh, the upgraded wood color, which is almost a $5,000 option to be able to go with the, um, the color furniture that you see here paired with this wood. We only build about eight of these a month, uh, all the way up to product line, so only eight uh, coaches with this stonewall gray. Um, so it is a highly sought op after item. This vehicle is available, folks. It has an MSRP of $476,672. Um, it's got the Wi-Fi 4G uh, WineGuard system on it as well. Um, for anybody that doesn't know about that, that's going to be uh, the ability to amplify your um, internet signal as well as uh, encrypts or password protects your, um, your user experience. So on a shared network, nobody's going to be able to search your, uh, your Wells Fargo mobile app right alongside you. Um, uh, if you have any questions, guys, I know I'm sure I haven't talked about everything, but hopefully we did a good enough walk around for you to get the idea. Um, this is by far one of the best values that you can invest in in terms of a motorhome. Uh, should you have any specific questions, my name is Chad Rothrock once again. Uh, my direct line is 951-250-4166 or you can email me at chad at totalvaluerv.com. Should you want to set up a test drive or just call in with any questions about pricing, uh, we'd love to give you a price that won't be beat. Our number here at the shop is 574-262-4460 or just visit us on the web at totalvaluerv.com. Thanks again for tuning in guys and we'll catch you next time.